sprouts, yeah, just to name a few, mm -hmm. can make some people cringe. Definitely not on that list of most addictive foods. Stephanie and Tony Tantillo have a recipe, though, that just might change some minds. Uh, Brussels sprouts and rigatoni. That's, That's it. Good done. No, we're not done yet. We're not done yet? <laughs> no. So first we started doing with these beautiful Brussels sprouts. We cut them in half. Okay. We decided to pan sear them a little bit. We added some water so that they could really steam up, you know, open up on the inside, uh -huh. get nice and soft. Deglazed the pan with a little bit of white wine, took out the garlic we used, and then we added in the pasta when it was just about al dente. So it makes this nice cream with everything. And I'm ready to make and it. It does. It is make it nice and creamy. It's the starches that come out. And Brussels sprouts right now at the market are fantastic. When you buy them, make sure they're nice and green just like this. Very very important and the key thing about the brush sprouts too is make sure it's free from any yelling whatsoever and when you bring them home in the refrigerator right away mm -hmm. all right so now this is I love this tip so you put everything in the bowl before you put it in the plate first for the cheese well of course now, why do you do that well because the cheese should really be added and out of the pan okay I think especially for something like this but first actually add a little bit of olive oil all right just a touch yep just a touch of olive oil we're gonna stir that in so everything's coated okay That's good good all right yep and then go ahead and sprinkle on this Parmigiano cheese here we go. And we're going to stir that in when the pasta's hot. And you like to buy the cheese and then grate it yourself, right? I do. It makes it's nice and fluffy that way and airy. It's nice and fluffy that way, and I just. Ooh, ooh, go ahead. It's kind of just fun to grate your own cheese. <laughs> a little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. And we cooked with some pepper, too. And then when you do it this way, when the pasta's still hot, the uh -huh. cheese goes on everything. It coats it nicely, and we can serve it. What a great tip, Stephanie. I'm going to put this right, right here on this plate. <laughs> Look at that. You're right. Look how creamy that is. Mm -hmm. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Bella. Oh, this looks good. I am not a Brussels sprouts <laughs> fan at all. Sorry. <laughs> I know my little gave it away.